Hey YouTube, hi, the heck you doing? Last time I showed you how to set up uh, your Surface Pro with the secondary display so you can see some uh, things that are going on in the background or if you want to run another program or not. But as you can see, I still have it set up here and it's sitting on top of my printer, which isn't always the best scenario because uh, if I want to print, I got to move it around. And if I move it down, you got my little scanner down there. You can see the scanner and all the other mess that I have down there. So so I went online, did a little searching around, and I think I found a solution. So let's get started. Now I could have taken the easy way out and just mounted it on the wall of my uh, office area. But I wanted something a little bit more mobile than that. And I didn't want to have holes and such in my wall if I decided to move it. Or I upgraded my desk which is uh, one of my projects coming up to show you guys too. So I went online and I found this little guy. It's a little mobile arm. You can either use a clamp to clamp it to the edge of a desk. Or if you have a hole in your desk area you can also run it through that and uh, mount it through that way. So I picked this up on Amazon. I'll put a little link down below. So let's see how this uh, gets going. So this is it. It's the articulating arm and you're not supposed to move it around too much until uh, you're actually mounted and such. But uh, I opened up the package. It's pretty well made. It's got a little combination of metal and plastic but it seems to be pretty good and pretty sturdy. I already mounted the uh, clamp on the bottom of it. it. Took about three screws to screw it in with the Allen wrench. So that wasn't too bad at all. It also has a little area here that you can run the cables through to keep them out of the way when you're uh, using the arm. So I plan on mounting this just behind my scanner and we'll just see how that goes. I do want to mention that when I was opening it and putting just those few pieces together, you get the instructions kind of like Ikea, uh, pretty much like Ikea with the, just the diagrams and arrows and pointing and telling me what screws and stuff to use, but it wasn't too bad to put together. So I put the clamp on. Let's go see how it fits on the desk now. So guys, it worked out pretty good. I was able to get the uh, monitor attached to the bracket. Gives you a few options as far as uh, the spacing on there and a few different bolts to work with to mount your monitor or TV, whatever you're working with. Like I said, it was uh, the clamp version I used, so it was pretty easy to install. I had to move around a few things to get it to work right. And it's not the most uh, exact position that I want, but as I said, I'm going to be updating the desk and everything in the near future. so. I didn't want to mess with it too much, but for now it's going to work pretty good. I had to move the uh, MacBook from one side of the Thunderbolt display to the other, which is no big deal. But uh, let's go ahead and do a little big reveal and see how you guys like it. So there you go guys, this quick little update on my workstation situation. I got the two monitors running right now for Windows 10. Got those running in the side there. And then of course I got my Thunderbolt display in the background running off my MacBook Pro. So that will be my current situation for working on uh, my programs. Uh, whether it be Photoshop or any of those. And then of course I have my iPad Pro which will probably sit off to the other side on the other side of the 
Thunderbolt display, but we'll see how that goes. It's going to get uh, a little crazy with all those displays, but I'm enjoying it right now. I think this is a good uh, situation or good setup for what I need to use it. And I can also run uh, the Apple TV on that uh, display back there and watch some movies and such while I do my other work. So that will be it for now. Like I said, I'll leave you a link down below for this little display uh, setup that I have that I got through uh, Amazon. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you later. Catch you later, guys. Have a good one.